most of the time, kids like are not planned. You know, guy goes out clubbing or whatever. Girl goes out clubbing. You know, they see each other. They leave the club. They go and do whatever. And because the guy is just living this lifestyle of the I call it the religion of YOLO, the religion of music of just you know just smoke, drink, you know, go clubbing, sleep around, have as much girls as possible, you know. He's not really looking to start a family, you know. Like guy doesn't believe in nothing but don't believe in you know maybe a, a creator doesn't believe in a day of judgment doesn't believe in you know where is it a paradise and a whole fire just believes the yolo where like you only live once you like life is just fun so take as much intoxicants as you can yeah weed alcohol con as conquer as much feels as possible yeah get as much material things as possible, that's it. There is nothing after, and when you die, you just chill. So obviously, when he comes across this girl in, yeah, in a nightclub, and so forth, and they do something, and they have relationships, and so forth, and then she gets pregnant, this goes against his way of life. The religion, his religion of YOLO, of, you know, it's religion of music and enjoyment because babies raising kids children takes effort it takes sacrifice it takes responsibility it takes time it takes money and the sacrifice <laughs> sacrifice accountability effort is not part of the plan is not part of the plan, so obviously he's either going to tell the girl to terminate the child, you know, or he's going to just avoid her. So the thing is this, yeah, when this guy, when this when this baby, the mum, obviously, now she takes on two roles. She takes on the role of the father and the mother, so she's always out, always out um, working, yeah, one maybe two, maybe sometimes three jobs. And then when she comes back, she's always cleaning up in the house. So she's exhausted, always working, always at home. And it's both their fault because, yeah, they just met up in a club. She, he thought she was fit, she was half naked. He thought she, he, he was buff and this, that. And they just went, I don't know, hotel, whatever, back to one of their places. And they did whatever. No one, like... The vast majority of babies come now from accidents. They're not planned. They're accidents. People don't get married and then have relationships and let a baby come out when they're fi when they're financially stable or they all plan it. We're gonna get married. We'll be together, and then we have relationships. And if a baby comes, it's a blessing. Now, most of the time, he goes nightclub. She goes nightclub half naked. He goes. He he goes nightclub looking getting as much girls numbers as possible bam a kid comes out then he's like kill it oh more obviously not gonna say kill it he's not gonna say murder god's creation he's gonna say you know you need to like you know he needs to go whatever whatever words he has or he doesn't even say anything he's, she's like I go, i'm pregnant and he's just like oh, yeah i'm out here i'm out gone chip goes in the terms that's it He's not traceable. The number you're calling is currently unavailable. Please try again later. So kids are accidents. So what happens is that when mummy is mummy, when when the girl is mummy and mummy and daddy, yeah, because the guy has just cut off, must be raving again, repeating the cycle. Then when she's always she's always at work, so she comes home tired, and she's always tired at home because she's always cleaning up. And maintaining her house so then the child is left obviously in front of the tv and so forth and music videos and so forth i don't listen to music any type of music 
yeah but kids left you know in front of the you know in front of the tv um sees music videos um goes outside you know normally you know people you know normally the the constructive people that live in a council state which is the majority they don't really hang outside they're inside their house but the the the, the most visual people that you do see are hanging outside on council states most of the time yeah which are a minority who are smoking weed or you know just doing what they do you know what i'm saying are not you know I normally people up to no good because constructive people who work and this that and so forth you know they ain't got time to just chill for hours and hours every single day hanging out on the wall just smoking listening to tunes what is it drink that alcohol chat it up girls that are walking past and this that and the other they're inside their house like they work a long shift and they're inside their yard you know doing whatever they do inside their house but the kid grows up yeah Mummy's always out, like, like mummy's always working, or oh, she's clean up in the house. The kids start seeing music videos and all this kind of stuff. You know, all the Brian Dailies and the Link Up TVs, all this kind of stuff. And what happens? If he has no father, if he has no father and he never sees a man, he doesn't see a man wake up in the morning, leave in the morning, come back late at night tired. Yeah. He has no blueprint. He has no blueprint of what a father should be. He has no reference point of what a father should be. You know? Like so, and so it's like he's guessing without that father without that father figure like and seeing a father, you know, go out. Go out from work, looking all fresh and everything, you know, whether it be, you know, in his work clothes or in a suit or whatever it is, in his trade clothes, in his, you know, high vs or whatever it is, leaves, yeah, and then comes back tired, you know, shirt creased up or tie undone and this, that, comes back tired. If he doesn't see that, then he, do, he doesn't have a blueprint or a model of, you know what he should, of what he should of what he should aim to be if he's just watching music video and hearing man of talk about what this up cut man like this and wet man up like this and shoot man like this and then he's watching a video he's watching videos yeah of um his dad just talking about stabbing people shooting people you know sees them smoking spliff yeah sees them drinking alcohol sees them doing robberies in the video You know, he's watching a video and he's seen, you know, the guy fully dressed in a tracksuit or big jacket and hoodie and the girls in the video are all in, what is it, underwear, bikinis and the guys are talking about how he's going to sleep around with their girls then pass them on to their friends and the actual girls in the video are nodding their head and smiling and agreeing with him. And the cycle just gets repeated again and again and again. Because it's alluring to him, the weed, the smoke, the champagne, the the, the other alcohol, the you know the fat cars, the the was it the naked women. This, that. He's a young guy. His young mind can't compete with the marketing of these videos. And then this guy, he ends up in a club, living this yolo life. And people say, ah, oh, but it's not just music videos, there's movies, there's other things, and just, yeah, there is. But first of all, music videos nowadays are just like movies. They're, they're 3 minute 45, or whatever it's the time of. They're movies now, they're like little movies now. And the normal, normally, even though they're a minority, the people you see, when you step out on the council state and this, that, and the other, with the whether it be the jewellery or the nice motorbikes and cars and this that level and so forth you know even though they're a minority they're not the hard working people which are the majority 
People you see flashing off all this stuff and this stuff, they're not the hard working people. No. And so forth. When he goes outside and so forth. People who work hard and stuff, one, first of all, most of them are trying to buy buy the property that they live in before they um you know, get some flashy, flashy car that costs more than a house. And you know, like they're just not flashy people like that. I'm like, not saying that at some stage you don't get a flash car or this that you have but the people you generally see, the man of people you see hanging out flash it, showing everything off and this that you have most of them don't work. Even though they're a minority. They're not working, you know. They you know, they're not studying them and they're not working. It's fast life, they live in a fast life. The people who have this stuff live the fast life and take shortcuts and oppress other people. So anyway, the point I'm just trying to say is that it's a, a child needs a child needs a father or positive male figures right there, but the best thing is a father. Because a father a fa he needs a father to explain certain things as well. Because the thing is this, when you grow up in a council state, like I said, I don't believe council states are all bad. You learn a lot of things growing up there. You learn a lot about life growing up in a council state. Real life, it's not sugar coated for you. So you learn a lot, a lot of lessons. Like a lot of times when you grow up in a council state, you don't even know you're poor. You don't even realise you're poor because everyone else, you, you, you don't have no reference point. You know, you grow up like team, like pee in the lift, spit on the buttons, like the lift ain't working and sometimes you might live on the 11th floor or higher. Mm. And you got to walk up the steps, like you got to carry your shopping up the steps. Like you learn a lot, you know. And there's lots of good memory, like you grew up, you know, you grew up with a lot of good memories, the times when you like playing on your bike, everyone's play, like, playing on their bicycles outside and you're all playing football and just driving, just having fun, man. just having fun, you know, because, you know, just having fun as a kid and so forth, you know, and your friends and all this kind of stuff. And you know you're not rich because you don't, you know, the trainers that you're getting is not like Nike or the latest brands of trainers that are out, you know, you're getting like Puma and Dunlop and all these like names that are not really you, you you might get cussed if you go in school with these trainers if they're not nike or adidas or the latest trainers and stuff but you had fun you know even though you didn't have you weren't rich and stuff like that you know you you got you know you 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 know your mum gave you love yeah and um you know and you know there, there was a lot of there was, there's a lot of pluses but the thing is there's times there's times when a person needs um a father for example when a young man goes through when a young man goes through things like certain things like puberty certain things like an example what will happen to you if you grow up in a low income income area at some stage in life or maybe one or two or maybe three times a young boy is going to be robbed so i don't know you may be at school you may be at college or whatever or so forth but when you're really young at some stage yeah it's not going to happen every day it's not going to happen every month it's not going to happen every year but at some stage when you're growing up on a council estate and so forth a low income area of this that you are gonna come across, you know, and like I said, these are the majority, you're gonna come across some rude boys, some bad boys, some um gangs, you know. And to be honest, as a as a young male, if you like imagine you you were just minding your own business, you're going about your gun and there's certain places you go or pass through and there's certain boys hanging out there and then they call you. You're outnumbered. Like you're just a young guy going to school, coming back, you're just doing your own thing, and then you get called over by about five boys or something. You start putting their hands through your pocket. 
they might pull out a knife on you and this that and the other and so forth ask you for your money and stuff like that when a young boy goes through these kind of situations he doesn't really want to speak to his from a female his or his mum about it why it's embarrassing because he's a boy and she's a female and he doesn't want to explain to a female that he's been robbed and humiliated he wants to explain to his dad why because maybe his dad yeah can go down there yeah and 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 talk to them and stop it stop them from robbing him in the future yeah or he can just feel more confident telling his dad look some boys you know they 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 they, they, they searched my pockets they pulled out a knife on me and this that and so forth you know and he just feel more comfortable talking to another man yeah like dad did you get when you were young did you get robbed or did you have did you get bullied and stuff like that like bullying as well a young male doesn't really want to speak to and uh, uh, his mum about being bullied like he doesn't want to and um, this at some stage most young males are going to go through this you know he wants to speak to his father he wants to speak to a man he says how did you deal with it how do you defend yourself you know how do i fight that well how do i avoid it so yeah so the whole point is is that it becomes it becomes a cycle because what is is that everyone is just living this music religion of yolo when you only live once and you know there's no god there's no day of judgment and there's no paradise there's no hell there's no message prophets and messengers that were sent to us to give us guidance and for us to it to for you know because even our father your fathers and so forth they have to emulate people they have to emulate people you know and you know the, the best of people are the prophets and so forth you know and um that we've been given guidance we weren't just created and left here to guess this life out you know but men but men need they need guidance you know young boys they need guidance Fathers, they need we uh, like need guidance, and if a if a young boy doesn't have a father in the house, yeah, then the blueprint, the blueprint and the reference point is missing, and unfortunately, the most visible, the most visible alternatives that are out there are not mostly positive when you grow up in a low inc income area so yeah and i don't think i don't see i don't see, see things getting better you know why because the 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 young the 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 brainwashing that they've given young men and the brainwashing that they've given young women yeah it's just gonna create a worse environment because a, a young a young boy just believes my purpose in life is just to how i define myself as a young boy or a young man the more intoxicants i can take the more for man i am the more girls i can conquer yeah the more for man i am the more hen hen the more material things i've got the more for man i am yeah these things are what make someone a man especially in the west like you know, just smoking bear weed, drink, being able to drink bear alcohol, being able to have to have the highest body count of girls that I've conquered. Yeah, to have the the, the fattest car, regardless of how I get, and to be hench as possible. And this is what makes me a man. No spirituality, no morals, no black, no family. And then you've got a girl. You know, these young girls have been. You know, we were emulating. You know. You know, like, like I said, left in front of the music videos, emulating Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Steph London, all these half naked Barbies, man. Instagram, now she got Instagram in her early teens, and, and she's just realizing 
She'd been taught to basically act like a prostitute. Prostitutes walk down the street with hardly any clothes on. That's how they get customers. Gets men's attention. If you go half naked on Instagram or TikTok, you'll get no attention. You'll get lots of likes, lots of views, lots of comments about your body, lots of man in your DM. But there's a big difference between attention and respect. Strippers get attention. Prostitutes get attention, but no one respects them. No one wants to marry them. No one wants to have relationships with them. So if you're Instagram and TikTok and like just emulating these women like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and these basically prostitute hooker influencers, that's what they are. And you wonder out why the cycle just keeps on going worse and worse. You've got a guy that just believes. Life is just about YOLO, just weed, drink, conquering girls, material things, yeah, by any means necessary, and just getting hedge. And then you've got like, the females that are just like, be half naked, that's it. Just be half naked, yeah. There's, okay, yeah, independent women, all this stuff, but even they're half naked. But the whole purpose is just be half naked, yeah, get... Uh, lip implants, bum implants, you know, uh, just walk around like a prostitute, yeah, and um, yeah, and then these two characters meet each other in a nightclub, and then a baby comes, and the baby's an accident, and the baby's not wanted, you know, and the guy runs away, and the child, the woman ends up with three more kids from two other guys, and that's it, just, and it just keeps on going on and on. No one thinks, oh, let's get married first. I didn't have, you know, the guy doesn't think, they let me build myself up financially first. Then, what is it? Um, let me get my trade. Let me get my, or let me get my education. Or let me get my school, whatever it is, yeah. Then, let me get, um, then, what is it? Let me get uh, ready for myself. Then get married. And then, what is it? Um, yeah, then, if I meet a girl and marry her, yeah. And we have a kid. Um, that I'll be prepared. And she doesn't think, yeah, you know what? Like, let me learn, you know, what it's like to be a wife and a mother. Yeah. And yeah, if I want to work, I'll work and so forth. But before I start having youths, yeah. And I'm going to be the mother and the father. Yeah. I'm going to be out working long shifts and then coming home and maintaining a home and the child. Something's gonna give way, you know. But we just, we just, live, we just live in a, we just live in a world of no guidance. We live in a world of no guidance. Just tunes, tunes have become our re revelation, you know. And I believe that all the prophets, all the prophets came: Moses, Jesus, Noah, Abraham, all the, you know, Jesus, Muhammad. They all came, and they all said the same message. That, you know. They said they all came through mercy, with, with the same message to worship God alone and seek all him out for worship. No prophet came along, yeah, and said, Worship me, I'm God. Yeah. Jesus never said that. Jesus was a worshiper of God. And God doesn't worship anyone. Jesus was a prophet of God, you know, had miracles and stuff, but he wasn't God. God doesn't worship anyone and God doesn't pray to anyone and God doesn't get on his knees to anyone. Jesus that Moses came along, he preached People told people to worship God, don't worship the golden calf, don't worship idols, blah, blah, blah. But Moses didn't say, like it says in some scriptures, that's not the truth. That God created the world in six days, then rested on the seventh. Human beings, we rest, we work, we do. We, after working, we get tired. After, you know, studying, you get tired. After, you know... After whatever whatever exhausting thing you do, mentally or physically, we get tired. We're human beings. God doesn't get tired. He doesn't rest after he creates things. So certain things have been changed, you know, in certain scriptures and so forth. But all of them said, come. All of the prophets came and they said, believe in one God. Don't worship, you know, false gods, whether that be idols, whether that be prophets, whether that, that be saints. Don't pray to them, don't worship them. You know, as uh, Muslims, if you pray to if you pray to Muhammad, you're no longer Muslim. Because the purpose of 
The purpose of Bible is to spread the, to spread the message of the prayer, not for you to worship him. If it's wrong to worship a golden calf, if it's wrong, wrong to worship a statue, it's wrong to worship a man. Men are in need, statues are in need, yeah, idols are in need. Animals, animals that you see some certain people do worshiping as God, they in need. So they told us to worship the prophets, all told us to worship one God. Yeah, you know, live a, try and live a righteous life. Yeah, don't fornicate, don't have relationships outside of marriage. Yeah, don't rob, don't steal, this, that, and the other, and so forth. Have families, have, fam have families, have kids for them, you know. Don't be a man having kids everywhere, you're not in a life. Don't be a woman who's walking around half naked, just sleeping with complete strangers. No one wants to listen, everyone wants to do their own thing. And this is the results you get of it. Yo yo, the religion of music. Weed, alcohol, nakedness, clubbing. Actions have consequences. Peace out.